Hello and welcome to the 10th video in this series on LaTeX, the mathematical typesetting system. We're in the midst of looking at several LaTeX environments for doing some common tasks and in this video we're going to take a look at lists. Specifically we're going to take a look at the enumerate, itemize, and description environments for making lists and how they differ from each other. So all three of these environments are in text mode, not in math mode, so we won't be needing the equation or align environments here. First, let's talk about the enumerate environment. This is an environment used for making auto-numbered lists. For example, let's make a list containing the names of four math classes that undergraduates should take. To start, we'd open the environment by typing slash begin, curly brace, enumerate, and close the curly brace. Now for each item I want to add to the list, I begin by typing slash item, followed by a space, and then the thing I'm adding into the list. So let's make calculus the first entry. Now let's add linear algebra. And now add geometry. Close off the environment the usual way by typing slash end curly brace enumerate close curly brace. And once you compile you see that you have a nicely formatted ordered list. The numbering in the enumerate environment is automatic. Let's say we meant to add discrete math between calculus and linear algebra. Just go back to that place in the list and add a new item. And once the document is compiled again, notice that not only is discrete math added to the list, the other items in the list are automatically renumbered to reflect the addition. If you want to create a sublist, just start a new enumerate environment within the current one. For example, let's suppose I wanted to add Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Calculus 3 as a sublist underneath the Calculus item. Go underneath the Calculus item and start a new enumerate environment. And then add those three items. Then close off that nested enumerate environment and compile. LaTeX formats the sublist using headings A, B, and C. You can nest enumerate and any other of these list environments up to four levels deep. The second kind of list is the itemize environment. Itemize does the exact same thing enumerate does, only it creates a bulleted or unordered list. If I just go and change all these enumerates to itemize, and then compile it, you can see what it does. Finally, the description environment allows you to use your own labels for list items. For example, here's a list that contains some course names in the math department at Grand Valley State University, and they'll be listed using their course numbers. So open up the environment by typing slash begin curly brace description, and then close curly brace. Then for example, MTH201 is calculus 1, so I'm going to type slash item square bracket MTH201 close square bracket. The text in the square brackets will be what's displayed as the list description instead of a number or a bullet point. Then we'll just follow with the actual list entry. We'll add math202, which is calculus 2, and then math203, which is calculus 3. Let's stop there and we'll close off the environment by typing slash end curly brace description. Close curly brace. And upon compiling you can see the results. So that's our quick tour of the enumerate, itemize, and description environments for creating lists of text. Thanks for watching.